Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the 14th video as part of our series of video of the playlist of power of data analysis. So in this video, we will cover yet another report or the exceptional report, which is the pending documents. So this report will help the business owners or the accounts department to quickly check and finalize their books of account. And also this report is going to help the auditors to check what are the pending documents that are open for the current year. And also it provides other insights to the auditors. Let us go to tally and explore this wonderful feature of pending document. Again, I will be covering the pending document exceptional report in two parts. Part A, we will cover a couple of options that are available and part B, we will cover the rest of the options and also see what are the kind of techniques that we can apply. The next report we shall explore is pending documents. This report will display information in three sections. Basically, this report will provide information related to pending orders, that is pending purchase orders and pending sale orders. The next section, it will provide information of pending invoices. And the last one will also display net pending receivables and payables. Let us select this report and drill down to view the to view these three sections. As you notice here, the first section provides information related to purchase order outstanding and sales order outstanding. The second column here basically gives the number of orders pending. It is the count of purchase order pending. So there are six purchase order pending for this company as on 31st of March 24. And the value of the pending order is 5,79,500. Similarly, you will see there are six sale order pending and the value of sale order to be delivered is 6,78,250 rupees. Tally Prime has a comprehensive order management module where you can raise purchase order, sale order and track them for pending orders. So I will cover the order management of Tally in a separate playlist where we will walk through how the order management is managed in Tally Prime. Now let us select purchase order and drill down. Once we drill down, now we will get the purchase order pending supplier wise or vendor wise. And for each vendor, the number of orders pending is also provided here. The opening value column will display the total value of purchase order pending from Forefront Electronics Private Limited. The next column basically provides the information related to pre-closed orders and the value of pre-closed item in the order. The next column you will see here received value. So what is the value of order that we have received, which is basically partially received order. If an order is completely received, then it will not get reported in this pending order report. The last column will display the balance closing value. So if you take the example of AM Enterprises, there is one order pending. The total value of order is 2,69,600. There are no pre-closed items. The order received is 2,63,800, which means only 5,800 rupees worth of item is still pending as on date. Let us take the next ledger. Apario Enterprises, one order again, total value of order is 75,700, pre-closed value here is 16,000. So the net order pending out of the total order is 59,700, that is 75,700 minus pre-closed value. The balance closing value of pending order is 59,700. So what is this pre-closed value and how do we handle that in tally? For example, let us say one item under the PO is pending to be supplied or couple of items. Now the vendor intimates that they are unable to supply the goods for some reason. Since the material will not be supplied by the vendor, the company can now 
pre-close the pending quantity and by doing so the balance amount will be shown as pending now let us say you want to view the purchase order detail so let us select the party and drill down so we will get the order information now to view the order detail first we need to detail this so to view this in detail format there are two ways you can do it either you can press alt f5 to view the detail now this is the purchase order document number and these are the item that have been captured against this purchase order to be supplied by the vendor alt f5 again will collapse other way of viewing the detail is just select the information and press shift enter it will again explode now if you want to view the po voucher detail we have to select the purchase order and press control enter to go inside the voucher control enter will take you inside the voucher now this is the original purchase order that we are viewing for this party we notice that 16000 rupees worth of order has been pre-closed we can view the pre-closed information in the voucher also to view the pre-closed information since we are in the voucher here all you have to do is just press f12 configure and make sure that show more configuration is yes and when you come here you have this option which says provide details to pre-close order by default this option will be no all you have to do is enable this just by pressing y enter and accept the screen by pressing ctrl a let us select the first item select the item and when you press enter it will take you to the item information subscreen now you will notice that there is a new column which is pre-close quantity so if you see here the original quantity ordered is 10 number later on as i mentioned in the earlier example they now reduced five numbers which will not be supplied by the vendor so the balance five number might be supplied so the pre-closed quantity is five numbers the rate is 1600 per number while pre-closing if we capture the reason for pre-closure that information also will get reflected here now let us save this just press ctrl a and now let us come to the second item and press enter here again we see that out of 10 numbers original ordered quantity five numbers have been pre-closed 1600 so five numbers of the first item at the rate of 1600 five numbers of the second item at the rate of 1600 so the total is 10 numbers which adds up to 16,000 rupees so that is what we saw as pre-closed value in the previous report you can just press ctrl q to escape and press escape again and here we see this pre-closed value escape now to view the sales order pending report follow the same details mentioned and steps provided as we discussed in our purchase orders the part b or the second section the information that we are viewing here is it says goods received but bills not received so there are no document which are pending as far as this but there is one document pending which says goods delivered but bill not made so let us understand what is this information about tally prime again has a feature of tracking numbers which helps in businesses receipt of material and delivery of material without accounting of purchase or sales invoice and they can track the receipt note and the delivery note while accounting purchase invoice or sales invoice this report is very useful information to ascertain complete purchases for the current year and also the actual total revenue so in this example it says 11000 rupees worth of goods have been delivered and there is one delivery note for which the company is still not raised the sales invoice again to view this we just press enter we will know to whom this goods have been delivered select the party enter and we get the tracking number document here again we press shift enter we will know that there is one dell monitor which was supplied and the sales invoice is pending let's escape and come back to the main report now in the next video we will discuss about 
the outstanding report and understand the relevance or importance of this report. I hope this report will help you to quickly check on the pending purchase orders and sale order and most importantly the pending bills where you can see what are the materials that you have received for which the purchase invoice has not been made and also the delivery of material for which invoice is pending for that particular financial year. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.